Are we done with the mechanical stuff? Not quite. Remember that MAP sensor we seemingly abandoned? Well, it still has a role to play, even in an Alpha N world. Wait, I thought we were moving away from MAP-based tuning. Where are yeah. we bringing it back? Because most ECUs use that MAP signal for background fuel compensation, air density changes with pressure. So the ECU needs to know what the ambient pressure is to really dial in the fueling. Okay, so the MAP sensor is like a fine-tuning knob ensuring the fueling is spot on, even with changes in air pressure. Precisely, and it's particularly important for ITBs because we don't have that plenum volume to smooth out pressure variations. Yeah. You know, imagine driving uphill air density drops, the ECU needs to adjust fueling, and that's where the MAP sensor comes in. I see. So MAP still has its place even with alpha N, but how do we get a reliable MAP reading with all those individual throttle bodies? That's where the MAP sensor collector connects to each throttle body and basically creates a central point where we can tap into the average manifold pressure. That average signal then feeds to the MAP sensor, giving the ECU a much better understanding of what's happening in the intake manifold. Okay, so it's like getting a consensus from a team instead of just listening to one person makes sense now with our fuel strategy and MAP situation figured out. What about idle speed control with these ITBs? Ah, uh, yes, idle speed control.